Hey guys, it's Stacy, and I am here today with my November book haul. Last book haul of the year that will be going up on my channel. Uh, if you want to catch the next one, make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you want to. Um, if you don't want to, that's cool too. Maybe I'll just stop by later sometime. Anyway, I've got a lot of books here today I got. I went to the thrift store a few times. I've been to Barnes & Noble a few times. I've been to Half Price Books a few times. So, yeah. Um, so I'll just, like, get right into it. Bruno, hey, stop barking at the mailman. Just bring in mail. Dog. Okay. So I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with a couple of books that I got for a video that I'm hoping to do soon, as soon as I get all the books that I need for it. Um, and these, most of them I got at a thrift store. Um, by me called Savers, if you have one in your area. It's a pretty good job at getting, like, decent books for decent prices. Although, their prices have went up recently, which is a little annoying. But this is the first one I picked up. It's a Piers Anthony Fawn and Games. This is a Xanth... Xanth? Xanth? It's a Xanth book. Um... No idea which one it is, but um, I've read a few of the Zank novels. My favorite books of Piers Anthony's are the Incarnations of Immortality books. Um, but decided I wanted to pick up a couple of these since they were at the thrift store. So there's this one, Fawn and Games, and um, this one, Demons Don't Dream, is also a, a Zank novel. I have another one also in a different pile, I'll put up in a second. I'm not going to go into what these are about. Um, if you are interested, I will link a um, synopsis website for Pierce Anthony books. Um, it's a very large series of books, so, and plus I haven't read these two. Um, I, I don't know if you are like me, but I actually don't keep a lot of the books that I have read. Once I have read a book, I usually get rid of it. So most of my bookshelves are full of books I haven't read yet. Um, the only ones that I have read are like my favorite author's books. So like Tamora Pierce and Eloisa James is another one of my favorite authors. And I have all my Harry Potter books still. Um, so like a few authors that I keep forever and like collect. But usually if I read a book, I get rid of it. So these are two Zank novels that I picked up. Um, I think the Savers is only like two or three dollars for paperbacks. So those are two are two of Piers Anthony books that I got. And then I also picked up Phase Doubt. Oh, I get it, Phase Doubt. Seriously, a lot of his titles are punny. Um, this is a sequel to Unicorn Point. Um, I haven't read this one. I don't remember if I've actually read Unicorn Point. I'm going to have to pick that one up too. Um, if I ever get to reading these anyways. Piers Anthony is one of my favorite novelists. So I might actually start collecting his books again. Right now I only have his Incarnations of Immortality books still. So that's another one I got. What is that? It's like a fly octopus or something. Anyway. I really like his writing. Um, I also picked up at the thrift store, I believe, this John Barrowman and Carol E. Barrowman uh, Torchwood book. I haven't read any of the Torchwood books, but if you like Doctor Who, then if you know anything about Doctor Who, there was a spin-off called Torchwood that had Captain Jack Harkness. I almost said Sparrow. No, wrong fandom. Um, anyway, starring in it. Starring in it? Whatever. You know what I mean. John Barrowman plays John Harkness, and he's, like, one of the main characters in Torchwood. Anyway, pick this up. It was, like, two bucks. Whatever. So, um, I have actually read one of the Doctor Who books, so, you know, I'm getting there. And I did reckon, I did actually mention in comments on a previous video with someone that I'm actually two episodes behind on the current Doctor Who season, which makes me a little sad. Um, but I picked up also this autographed copy of The Ask and the Answer by Patrick Nuss, which was at the thrift store for two bucks. Right there. 
Um, I don't know why people get rid of autographed copies of books. Why go to the trouble to get it autographed? I mean, maybe they didn't go to the trouble to get it autographed, but whatever. And I found this copy of Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth at the thrift store. It's in great shape for like a two or three dollar book. Um, and I don't know if it about it about you, but oh, the Divergent books. Like I really loved Divergent, but like the other books, like could take them or leave them. Really, those ones. And I have a whole nother stack. And I'm thinking, what did I pick up the other day at Barnes and Noble? Was it something important? Hmm. Okay. So like I said, I went to Half Price Books the other day, and I picked up Castle Rubna by Piers Anthony. It's another Zank novel book. This is for a pre, uh, coming up video, I hope. Um, I don't even know. Is this one of the first books? I think this might be one of the first books. Nope. The first book is A Spell for Chameleon. This is book three. I have actually read this one, I believe. I don't know how far I got in these books before I stop reading them. I picked up Charlene Harris's Dead to the World, which is like book three or four in the Sookie Stackhouse novels. I have previously read this book, but this is also again for another video upcoming. And I picked up this copy of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie uh, DVD, mostly because it was three dollars and my kids really like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So, um, And Netflix doesn't have this movie on it for some reason. It has almost every other Power Rangers possible man, but it doesn't have that movie. I found this copy of Queen's Own by Mercedes Lackey. This is one of those like science club books. It's three books in one. So it's uh, the three books of this series together in one book. Arrows, Arrows of the Queen, Arrows Flight, and Arrows Fall all in one book. So this was $8. It's probably cheaper during it through the club, but... Or I don't know, maybe it's not. I'm not part of those clubs. But I just thought, hey, it's three books in one. It takes up less space. It's hardcover. It's pretty. Pick that up. Um, I picked up another one similar to this in a second. I'll show you. And then this one of The Last Herald Mage by Mercedes Lackey. It's also three books in one. Um, I used to collect all of Mercedes Lackey's books. Had a whole bunch of... I still have some can't find them though because I have rainbow bookshelves. <sighs> it drives me crazy. Anyway, this has three books in it as well. It has The Last Herald Mage, um, Magic's Pawn, Magic's Promise, and Magic's Price all in one book. This was also $7.50. Oh, can you see it? Anyway, I wish I would stop saying anyway. I'm sorry. I don't know if you have read these books, but I really like these books. I, um, I really love The Queen's Own. This is one that I read, like, later on in my Mercedes Lackey, like, reading. But I also really liked it. No idea. Whoop! I have no idea what this book is. I found it in the book, in a box in the garage. And it was all... It was just, like, sitting on top of a box of stuff. And I have no recollection of getting this, but... It's new to the bookshelf, so here it is. Labyrinth by Kate Mossy. Mossy? Oh. Oh, it's an uncorrected proof. Huh. I must have picked it up at this thrift store. Anyway, haven't heard anything about that book, so. I went to. I went to Barnes and Noble and bought a couple of, like, kids' books. And with every, like, price of it every purchase of a kid's book. You could buy this book for like $7.99. How to Catch a Snowman. And it's a picture book. We haven't read it yet. Um, it's by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton. It looks cute. Perfect for Christmas or holiday season. So we got that. I picked up I picked up this. Uh, on my birthday, we went to Barnes & Noble, and I let the kids all pick up one book each. I have three sons, if you don't know. Um, they each picked one book, and then I picked one book. Uh, I picked up Jim Henson's Song of the Dark Crystal by J.M. Lee. 
And I am a, I don't know, stereotypical 80s kid. And I love Dark Crystal. I love Labyrinth. I love anything Jim Henson. And I'm excited to read this. I assume it's a story about the Gelflings. And that's all I know about it. So, yeah. Oh, the voice of the crystal is weakening. Although a certain few who listen carefully can still hear its haunting melody. Anyways, this is also just like, uh, I don't know, not middle grade, but teen, so it should be really easy to read. I don't know when I'll get to it, but I'll get to it. Okay. Savers is cool for finding, like, old stuff. This next book I found is, like, the epitome of Star Wars fandom, in my opinion. This was copyrighted in 1978. And it is the Star Wars storybook with full color photographs. So for like two bucks I got this really old um, Star Wars book. Like a who is who. And it's basically the story of A New Hope. What's that scene? I don't remember that scene. Do you remember that scene? This one? It's just with his friend. Biggs. I don't remember that. Maybe it was a scene that was cut. Or maybe I just haven't paid attention in a long time. Anyway, that book. Um, I thought my husband would be like a little bit excited about it because it's Star Wars, but he was kind of like, meh, whatever. And I was like, it's so cool. So, that book from Savers. Um, I picked up all these ones from Sabres. I found this first edition copy of Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. And I've been trying to find this cop cover of this book for a long time. It's really hard to find. It's way more than $4 on the internet if you try to like look it up on like thriftbooks.com or half price books or whatever. So this was $4. And I've read this book twice, so not like I really need another copy of it or anything like that. But this was copyrighted in 1991. And, um, yeah. So, I'm excited to have that because that's really cool. I'm not going to have space on my bookshelf though. Okay, I'm going to have to redo my bookshelf by the way because this rainbow thing is not okay. Picked up this copy of The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer mostly because I own all of her other books. And it felt weird to not have this one. I don't know if it's good. Haven't heard it's good. Haven't heard anything about it, actually. Um, I'm probably one of the weirdos that like Twilight, whatever. I understand the problematic elements of it. Um, I actually preferred The Host. And I thought um, with its problems that it was like a way better book than Twilight. But they haven't come. She hasn't written the second book yet. And I'm waiting for it. So I picked up the chemist just to, you know, finish out that, like, thing. Okay, I got some color. Okay, I got some children's books here and then two regulars. I picked up this Debbie McEmer book at the thrift store for $4. Mary and Bright, never read her. I assume this is just like a Christmas romance. Probably easy to read. I should probably read it in December, which is tomorrow. And it would be perfect, right? I don't know. It was $4. Plus 30% off because I had a coupon. And then this is the book I got in my owl crate for this last month. Girls of Paper and Fire. The next book, the next four books are kind of picture books. Um, actually, you know what? I just started realizing that I'm going to start including the books I read to my kids in my reading wrap-ups because I read probably like just this past month we've read like three or four books and they're really into these eerie elementary like little chapter books for beginner readers um I might as well keep I might as well that's what I'm looking for I might as well you know put those on there as well because it counts but I picked up this one, The Giant Surprise, a Narnia story, inspired by C.S. Lewis by Hywin Orem, illustrated by Tudor Humphreys. Um, I just like Narnia stuff, even though I haven't read 
all of the books. I just grew up, like, whenever I was sick, I would watch the, um, you know, the BBC version of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Every time I was sick, I'd watch that, and I would watch Willow and The Never-Ending Story and The Land of Far Away. So, just nostalgia here for this one. Um, plus, the artwork looks nice. So, I picked that one up for the, well, for the kids. I picked it up for the kids. Picked it up for me. Picked it up for me. Then this next one is definitely for me. It's The Hobbit, an Unexpected Journey activity book. It was two dollars. And I love Lord of the Rings. I love The Hobbit. So, you know, I picked this one up. You can tell I like Star Wars and Lord of the Rings, right? Oh, a map. I love maps. Bilbo, Thorin, if you know, if you didn't know, you probably didn't know, um, my middle, or my middle kid, what am I talking about, my youngest child has a middle name of Thorin, because I'm a geek, pantry puzzle, look closely and see if you can spot the eight differences between these two pictures of Bilbo and his visitors, interesting, okay, there's that one, two more, and then we'll be done. Um, this one's dirty. Don't mind it. I have to clean it. But it's the Golden Book of... Golden Book? No, Gallery Book. God, what am I talking about? Of Dumbo. Which is uh, coincidental since the live action movie's coming out in a few months. It's dirty. I gotta clean the cover. There's nothing wrong with the inside of the book. Which is kind of amazing. Usually you find these ones and they're like colored in. I almost got rid of all of our other gallery books the other, like a few weeks ago. I tried to sell them. Um, but while I was talking to someone who was interested in them, I decided I didn't want to sell them anymore. So now I'm just going to go and find all of the ones that were missing. So that is that. Oh, and that was also $4 minus... See what I mean? Like $4 for a used book seems like a lot to me. Especially thrift store price, you know. Um, last one was, uh, this picture book called When I Wished I Was Alone. Written and illustrated by David, C Dave Cutler. Um, this one's kind of depressing, like the story-wise. It's like, kid wishes he was alone and then his wish comes true and then he realizes that he shouldn't wish to be alone because he wished all of his family away and stuff. Uh, but, you know... So it's a good story. So when he comes home, he... Math problem. Hmm. He goes and finds his family right away to tell him how much he loves them. Which is sweet. And that is my... Basically my last book. My next video that I'm hoping to get done is a tag video. And then after that, I am also going to do a reading wrap-up where I go over my last four books that I've read, which is a reread of Tamara Pierce's Protector of the Small series. I'm on book four, Lady Night, and I'm kind of a little booked out, I guess, because I've been reading all of those, like, very quickly. I went through October, like, not reading hardly anything, and, like, November I've read three books already, and obviously I'm not going to finish that in November, since today is November. Uh, the 30th, the last day, and so, yeah, so those are my two upcoming videos I'm hoping to get done. Um, if you have any ideas of any videos that you might want to see, like if you want me to video, like, redoing my shelves or anything like that, please leave a comment below, that would be helpful. And otherwise, uh, like and subscribe to this video if you want to hang out and join the conversation about books. Uh, tell me what your favorite book was that I hauled today, and I will see you in my next video, I think. Well, you'll see me. I hope to see you in the comments. Uh, thank you. You guys all stay wonderful.